Hi there, Chris here. I have this challenge lock and it was pinned by Dawes Evers. It is number 84 on an arrow keyway or an arrow lock. Asa Abloy as well. Um, this thing is the ultimate camera shy lock. Uh, I'd like to say this is the first go at it, but it is certainly not. I, I have picked it before. I've picked it in hand. I've picked it in the vise. I've picked it counterclockwise. <laughs> I've picked it clockwise, but I have not picked it on camera. So hopefully I'm going to get that accomplished right here. So this time we're going to give it a go in hand and see if we can't get this guy open. I'm dying to see the key. I'm dying to see the pins. I'm dying to get this thing picked. So we'll give it a shot here. Getting some good clicks. I have to say it's one beast of a lock, but um, Dawes Evers, what do you expect? He, he makes some great, great locks. And like I say, I'm dying to find out what kind of magic nastiness is inside this guy. I've got a little bit of a false set going. Uh, been there before. Just have to play with the pins. Oops, might have been overset there. Let's reset. Uh. I'm just going to play around and see what I can set gently. A little bit of core turn. A little bit of a false set. Working on five or six. Might be okay. A little bit of counter on three. May have got him set. That was four. Five's down.
was looking at the camera screen, which is my phone, and <laughs> just got like six messages right in a row on other another video I posted this morning. I'd like to say we're close on this, but whoa. There was an overset, <laughs> but we're not. I'm gonna reset. All right, here we go. Sure would like to get this thing open. <laughs> Another message. Okay, I got a pretty good false set going here. I'm going to reset my tension wrench. Um, hopefully we can find out who it is. That's it. I don't think it was six or five. Ooh. Lost my false set. When I messed with two, could have been a mistake. This is a beast, a very cool beast, but a beast nonetheless. Felt a little set and movement. Been here before. Sheesh, another tension wrench. I think this one will make me do a little bit less tension. <clears throat> and that may, may be what it wants.
goodness. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh my goodness, we're open. Um, I'm sure I'll get the shakes now. Oh my. You have no idea how long I've been trying to pick this bad boy. This is a Daz Everest 84. It is amazing. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what's in here. I've been dying to see what's in here. My hands hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the chills. I, I'm just sorry to be so emotional, but um, this guy has plagued me. <laughs> oh boy, do I love picking locks. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, the cat wants the tape. All right, um, there's the pitting. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that's great bidding. So let's get this thing picked. Uh, picked. Um, let's try the key. God, if it doesn't work, I'll kill myself. Oh, it's butter. But that's what you would expect. Absolute butter. All right. Whew. Let's keep let's let's keep everything in frame here. Um yes. Get a shim in here. Let's not screw anything up. Can't get the hands to work. <laughs> shim goes right in. All right. Starting with the magic here. So these two, uh, six and two, are a little, they're smaller. Um, all right. Don't screw this up. This is six. I'm sorry, and this is two. I don't know how I did that, but. That's five. See if I can get these up here. I get one here. I have three. Wow. 
Shaky. Okay, what we have here in the core. Nothing on six. Threading on five. Undercut. Four. Undercut. Three. Threading on two. And threading on one. All right, now up top. Get my shim out. Oops. All right. Driver number one. Driver number two. Boy, a lot of serrations. Number three. Number four. Wow. Beautiful pins. Five went like that, and number six. All right, so I'm gonna pull these springs out in order because they're different. Keep that straight. Okay, this is spring number one. Spring number two. Spring number a long video but <clears throat> I really want to do this right four we'll go to the five here I'm sorry six and then one more five oh my okay I'm not seeing anything done to the core. I will try and feel it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, no. The core is stock, or the Bible. I'm sorry, can't even keep this straight. Let's take a close up of the pins here. Okay, number one key pin is multi serrated and it looks like it's reduced on the top. Number two is a dry uh, key pin is a like a T pin, little ball on there. Number three is standard. Number four is a is a deep serration. Number five is a tall spool with a little catch in the middle. Just a little tiny lip there. Number six is very reduced T-pin drivers. Um, number one, multi-serrated. Number two, same again, multi-serrated, different, different sizes of serrations. Number three, uh, in between like spool and serrated, very sharp. All of these are sharp. Number four, very sharp um, serrations in this cool little catch here. 
that one. Number five, two serrations. Number six, uh, looks like it's reduced on the top in a couple serrations. Steel spring, steel spring, steel spring. Um, they vary in sizes. Come on, shaky hands. We have a copper one here. These two look the same. This, <laughs> maybe even these three. This looks smaller though. This is larger and that's larger. All right, um, let me get the key on here. Wow, Dawes Evers. 84. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is a very long video, but uh, I wanted to do it right. And um, please hit the like button, subscribe, certainly make a comment. Uh, I want to thank Dawes Evers for pinning that up and um, bears back for sending me that. Wow, I'm glad I'm through that one. <laughs> we'll see you next time.